guys, this is Josh from Team Unity. I'm here today at BenQ HQ to talk about the new XL2420T monitor from BenQ. Uh, the XL2410T was already a fantastic monitor. In fact, it was the monitor of choice for a lot of FPS gamers around the world because it offered 120 hertz and a 2ms response time, which made playing on it absolutely fantastic and smooth. Now, this year, BenQ released a new series called the XL2420T. While it does retain the 120Hz and the 2ms response rate from the XL2410T, it also offers new features such as the Black EQ, which, which enables you to adjust um, the contrast on some areas of the map when you play your games, the Touch UI, and uh, the new Touch panel, and the S-Switch, which enables you to change the settings on the fly. I'll be talking about these today and giving you guys a brief overview, so that when you buy an XL series, you know how to use it. One of the new features added on the 2420T compared to the old model with the 2410T is the new UI and touchpad featured here. Now with the 2410T you used to need to go under the monitor and press buttons to change settings, but now on the 2420T all you have to do is hover your finger over a certain button on the side of the, um, the, side of the panel and um, you keep hovering to change settings like so. So instead of going underneath the monitor and pressing like tactile buttons, it's just hovering your finger, it's really easy. Another feature I included with the uh, 2420T is the S-Wheel, which actually allows you to change the aspect ratio and settings of the monitor on the fly. So instead of, um, instead of using the touchpad to change settings, I can actually go into the S-Wheel and just press one button to swap to a different profile. So if I was playing you know, Counter-Strike or something similar, probably use the aspect ratio here with the black bars on the side. If I was playing Battlefield, I'd use full aspect ratio like this. If I was playing League of Legends or Dota, maybe I'd want to play in lower resolution, so I'd just change back to this one. Now it allows you to change settings very rapidly because of the wheel. If you click the wheel, it brings up the side menu, as you'd get when you use the Touch UI. Then to scroll through the menu, all you do is, uh, is flick the wheel, and then press it down, and you can change settings. The save settings, all you do is select them, click down, press them again, press again, and then click the back, the back button at the top here. Hey guys, I've just loaded up a, a game of Battlefield 3 here to demonstrate what this monitor does for your FPS gaming. Now like I said before, from the uh, 2410T that brought over the 120 hertz and, uh, and the 2ms response time, so you've still got fantastic FPS gaming uh, quality and the image is just like amazing as well. But on top of that, no matter how fast you move your mouse or look around, you don't tear at all. It still remains smooth. Um, now, with a game like Battlefield 3, it's, uh, it's very important that, firstly, your aim is good, so you have something smooth to play on, you can acquire targets very quickly. But on top of that, you need to be able to see them. Uh, Battlefield 3 is pretty dark in some stages, like for instance if I walk a little further up here into this um, shadowed part, it's pretty much impossible for me to see anything. So what BenQ has done is um, actually invented this uh, feature called the Black Equalizer, which I'll demonstrate to you guys now. So I'll move up a little bit further, I'll show you guys. Now in this corner I've actually got a lot of darkness, and back here I've got a lot of darkness as well. So I'll just sit here and I'll, uh, I'll fiddle around with this black equalizer. Okay, what this actually does is, it takes the dark parts of the map that I'm on and actually brightens them individually. Um, but instead of brightening everything, like the bright parts and the dark parts, it just takes the dark parts and brightens them up. So instead of having to fiddle with the, uh, the brightness and blinding myself in the bright areas, I can actually just individually brighten the dark areas. I'll show you guys now. So for instance, I'm in a shadow here. If I turn up the black equalizer to halfway, it's actually a pretty noticeable difference. If I turn it up to a full 20 points, essentially I'm not even in darkness anymore. So I'll just close that off and I'll show you guys. So the shaded area is completely bright now. And this room here, which was completely dark before, is actually bright. And the light streaming through these windows, it hasn't changed at all. You're not getting blinded by it. You can see into the corner here, it's completely bright. 
And uh, just to show you guys again, I'll turn it off. And you can have a look at this. I'll just um, I'll look over to here. So not only does the 2420 give you massive advantage in games with the black equalizer, it's also extremely smooth because of 120 hertz and the 2ms. As you guys can see, that's without it in the corner. One more time, so you can see the uh, the bright parts don't really change at all. They don't blind you. Just turn it right up. And you guys should be able to see that there is a pretty remarkable difference. Like, you can see people in areas where they can't see you, and you're not getting blinded, you don't have to fiddle around with the contrast or anything. There's a um, pretty distinct advantage from using this monitor in FPS games. Like the 2410T before it, the 2420T is actually height adjustable as well. So if you like playing with your monitor all the way down to the table, all it takes is a single push, and you're down there. If you like playing in the middle, like I do, just like that. And if you like playing with your monitor all the way up, it just takes a fingertip and you push it all the way up. Now something else uh, BenQ have added is that the monitor is now rotatable. It's like, it can go all the way onto the side. I'm just showing you guys a little bit at the moment. And also, along with that, you can now rotate the monitor like so. Hey again guys, I've uh, just loaded up a game of single player Battlefield 3. We had some complications with the internet at BenQ HQ, so I wasn't able to, um, to get into multiplayer, but I just thought I'd show you guys what the monitor can do. Um, so, here I go. It's just set to easy, because I don't want to look bad if I die. As you guys can see, I've got black EQ set to 10, so I don't have to maximize, but the uh, area that's usually pretty dark is pretty bright. And then when I go out into the open, the, um, the bright area is still about the same as it usually is. benefits it has over the XL2410. Um, if you're interested in finding more, check out benq.com.au for an in-depth look at the features. I haven't gone over all of them today, there are some more. And if you're interested in buying, check out Scorptech, Umart or PC Case Gear. Hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, have a good one.